Today's video is more about some nerd stuff. So if you are a cool guy, with real life, and not a virgin, then this is not for you. What exactly the Anim Curves modifier is doing? With my super drawing skills, I've made this incredible illustration to visualize the modifier. Because I want to apply the modifier only in the x value, I will firstly add the xy modifier to the center value, then in the modifiers tab reset the keyframe for both. Now I can add any modifier independently. Right click to the x slider and select modify with anim curves. If you are working on some transition, let the source to transition, if not, change the source to duration, to adjust the animation based on your clip's duration. What this modifier is doing, it is animating the given parameter from point A to point B. The scale value is the ending point, and the offset is the beginning of the animation. I will drag the offset to the left and the scale to the right to move my cube from one side to the other. By default, the curve is set to linear, so the cube is traveling from point A to point B evenly through the time. But if you change the curve to easing, the fun stuff will begin. By changing the in and out method, you are basically telling the modifier the way you want to start your animation and the way you want to stop it. If you set the in and out to sign, you can see that it is smoothly starting from point A and again smoothly stopping at point B. I will not mumble about each one because I guess it is pretty clear with my amazing illustration. You can combine different in and out methods to get different starting and ending animation. Now about the mirror box. If it is not activated, your animation will go from point A to point B. When you activate the mirror box, the animation will go from point A to point B and back to point A. The invert box will do exactly what it says, it will invert the animation. I hope now you will stop making fun of me for using the anim curves every time. <laughs> 